over a sea of dead. The dog's winding up the cows. Of which one's been flattened. Got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Morning Holly! What a bee! Big breakdown. This is real work. Today, so I'm not really going to film anything, I'm just going to do 60 seconds of anything that's happened today. Bringing in the coo with the lame foot again, just going to bring her inside and keep her inside. The dog's winding up the cows, tormenting them. Poor cows. She'll get a belt someday and she'll not go near them. Also, friend at farm stream, there's security cameras and calving cameras, lambing cameras and whatnot. Um, he sent me one down, so we'll get that to play with, have a look at it, see if it's any use. But from the, from what you hear around about it, I mean, they're, they sound a lot of them and everyone seemed to enjoy them. Setting up these pens so the calves are segre segregated from that cow. They'll not be in there that long, cabs will go along the road in about three or four days. Shift the notes. A wee bit of grading pushing, get these oats right up. This is the last bucket of oats. That's all the oats in now, just squeezed them all in. You can see what we've done, we've brought them in here, split the pen off, cabs are all over there. They'll be going out just soon and then the cows will all come into here. But get her out of the kind of weather and let her be a bit dry and a bit nicer conditions. Morning. A bit chilly this morning. Sprayers out. Dunk was spraying yesterday. He's going to be spraying most of the day today. Getting caught up with everything. Should get everything finished today. There was one issue. There was a joint that was broken yesterday. Can't see it though. Don't know where it is. Cabs are all fed there. Just going to go and see how this cow's getting on. Also give her some grub. She's coming. Giving her a bit of grub there. I'm gonna put a ring feeder over there and some ammonia straw in it. I need to get that done as well. We've got quite a pile of uh, tar planings now. Harbro guy's in, just been mixing up hen feed and he's gonna blow it into that silo you can see in the top there peeking out. I'm just grabbing a ring feeder here. Maybe would have been easier just uh, opening the gate. It's a bit tight up there. Ah, we're in, we're in. Just shifting this pile of steel because we're going to try and bring in some bales today fill in this gap, the, worst, the steel was sitting there so it's in the way um, I won't get out of the door because the bales are in the way for just swinging round so I'm going to dump it in here and figure it out later There it is! Frost! Ooh. Whoa. Here we go, here comes the winter it may be frosty and cold, but it's a nice clear sky, nice day, nice morning. Coos look happy. Pigeons look happy, damn pigeons, to get rid of them. I'll keep her happy, look, she's ready for it. Right, that's all the animals squared up. I'm going to head up some bales to shift up here. Dad's getting the flatbed trailer. Uh, we'll bring them back to the yard and then there's a field right next to the yard to do as well and then that's all the bale, bales done. They've been lying out a while and they don't look pretty but they'll be fine. Once you get below the first wee layer everything will be fine. Bales, this is, there's just a few in this field, be half a load and then we're done and then head down to uh, beyond that lorry. First load, there's a few deliveries in this morning for the shop. There must be like five, six deliveries every day. There's three lorries on the farm at the moment. Two deliveries, Harbro lorry. Harbro mix. They're usually like clockwork every three weeks or here. No issues, but you can't, at the moment, I don't know, something must have changed or change of staff. I, I don't know, but it's not as consistent at the moment. Just, just make sure a week before you need it that they're definitely coming. There's one. Oh, come on. Oh, no. This is a burst one. It's just holding together. It's just this 
threatening them crumbling to pieces. So I'm just going to put it straight in to the calves for bedding. But it's just digging out the net of it. There is a net on it. Something must have just gone wrong when it was going through the baler. The net didn't go on properly. There's net kicking about on it, but it just crumbles to pieces. You always get a couple of rear and some wee ones. Alright, that's the first load off. It was just a wee half load. Uh, that's the one wee one I was talking about. Just left it next to the gate so I can roll it in there. Right, we're away out to this field. You can see there's still a few kicking about out there. A few loads in that field and then that's that. Done. That's load number two. Just get a wee push up. I'm not bothering up the top because the yard's just there. Load number three. What a day, well, look at the sky, not a cloud in sight. It was Baltic cold, but it's lovely. I'm needing a wee bit more space, but I can't bother putting the forks on, so hopefully I'll just shove a few things out of the way with some bales. Shove that over there, and then hopefully I'll be able to push that. It's moving anyway. Load number four, I think. Four, and there's not a wee half load left. We've still got a few bales up at the sunflowers, and um, just up there, so we'll get them as well, get them in. Um, still use them, which is pretty good. We've used them out here for the sunflowers, obviously, and then they'll be perfectly fine for a bedding now. These are the bales are left, that's just getting turned around, then I'm getting loaded up. It's not so pretty around here now. It's just having that all important discussion about uh, when we're stopping for a cup of tea which will be in five minutes. Some flowers, they're also getting sprayed off today. Uh, if dunk gets around everything else, obviously these are not as important as getting everything else sprayed first. If we've got the time, they'll get done. Oh, my poor sunflowers. I need to get over here, but I don't want to wreck this grass because it's quite wet. Some flowers are taking the brunt of it. They all just snap now. There's no bending or no like before, when they were really fibrous, you couldn't snap them at all. But now they're kind of past it, they just snap, that's it. We've now got miniature sunflowers. Only kind of tiny wee ones left. Look at that one, hold on. Oh, that's not going to focus. That's all the bales into here. That's the upside down start sign. Um, so this can come off. There's still square bales out there, but I need to put the dung grab on to get them. That's what I'm needing. Anyway, time for a cup of tea. Bales all shifted, and uh, there's a couple of pallets out there still to get. And something else, what's out there? Can't remember. Another delivery. Got this wee drawer from the butchery. It's meant to go in there. The wee spot welds, don't know if you can see them there. They've come apart basically. So I've got a wee, wee nut and bolt. I've cut it short so it doesn't stick out loads. Job, it's a bit bent. I think it just collects fat from um, a machine in the butchery. Just having a red up in here, and um, so we can get a few things in against that wall, get them well, it's a bit nicer in here. Nice environment, it's not finished yet. This end's not done, but we'll clear that end. We'll swept the whole floor and we'll get a few things in there. We've got hand towels, of which one's been flattened. 
That one can go to the workshop, I think. We've got more hand towels. We've got a different style of hand towel. We've got porridge. We've got more porridge. Oh, a wee bit more porridge. A bit more porridge. Look, we sell a lot of porridge. So we get all our oatmeal, oat flakes, and all that all done in a big batch because um, obviously we're only combining the oats once a year and we don't want to keep a wee, a wee amount in the shed, like a ton or a few ton in the shed because it's an awkward amount. So we just get big batches of oat flakes done. More hand towels, and of course all the cardboard needs squashed again. More hand towels, so you can play Jenga with that one. All these crates and boxes, which all the fruit and veg comes in, they need chucked out as well. I'll do for a guy fox fire. Firing away back out to the sunflowers because there's still some pallets out there and a tatty box and some posts and whatnot. We'll just put them on a flatbed and that'll be it, fully red up. There is a couple of bales still in the middle, but we'll wait until, we'll wait until the combine has possibly been through them or the topper. These are the pallets, there's a box of logs. It was used as a closed sign once we finished up. Here comes the cave, we'll just put it on a flatbed. And then that's it done. Some flowers finally red up. Didn't get around to finishing that for a while though. The sea of yellow is now, well, sea of green, but a sea of dead. Question of the day, what's that? It's just been a day of red and stuff up. Um, clearing stuff, we're kind of on top of things. It's now just sorting out all the jobs that are, have been left behind from harvest time, abandoned. Tidying up the place, it's a bit of a bomb site. It's getting there, getting there though. It's a pile of logs. The shop goes through a fair whack of logs in the winter. Got a big wood burner. That's a right winner with the OAPs. Come in, get right next to their fire, get really nice and warm on a, on a cold winter day. Yesterday I was asking what this is and it's a tap and die set so it's for making threads internally and externally so internal threads you cut with a tap so that goes into the hole cuts the threads all different sizes uh, and then you've got your dies as well these are the dies they sit in that holder this is an M12 1.5 pitch there you go that's the teeth on the inside that actually cut the external thread Really, really handy. Really handy specifically when the likes of you've got a chowdered thread or a knackered thread and you want to clean it off because sometimes you end up doing that. Um, if you stupidly, I do all the time, put something that's um, threaded in a vise and the vise kind of chowders up all the threads. You just run a, a die around it and it kind of squares it all back to normal.